Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Today's review the Z650 Kawasaki. It's a 2018. I remember the old Z650. I was expecting to be an inline four, and it isn't. A little bit mm, unimpressed with that. It's got, I thought at the time, the exact the same engine as what's in the Versa 650 and the ER6F. I thought it was just a naked version. There are some alterations. They've changed the engine. They've changed other little bits. Do you remember the old early 650? Very, very vibratory. You know, you did feel it on your hands. This is supposed to have overcome that. And they've done, say, alterations somewhere along the line. But it is, to me, still the same little 650 parallel twin engine. It's not going to light your world on fire. 4,000 revs, it does start to pull a little bit. But it's going to feel pretty much like the 125 you've just come off after you've passed your test. So if that's what you're after, then this is the bike for you. Very, very thin bike, if I'm really honest with you. The handlebars are quite tight together. On the Versus, they're set up and big. And on the ER6F, they are done like a ninja, so they're down. But this is just like a normal bar on here. So when you get on it from 125, you're going to just think it's the same bike you've just got off. Very, very thin tank, four gallons, 18 litres, something like that, 50 to the gallon. Under the tank is your twin plugs, quite easy to get off rather than a fairing in the Versus. There's a couple of videos that will be in my description, and you can see how easy these are to service. The panels are slightly different, this is just simply a tiny little tank. When doing a service, remember, make sure your tank is low as possible, it's just easier to lift off. On the Versus you've got all the panels, same as the ER6F. This is just a few little bits and it will come off. First will be your air filter, it's just sort of like diamond shaped ones, twin plugs. Right at the front is your oil filter and your plug underneath. The engine, as I said, they've said they've redone something to it, but to me it looks exactly the same as the old 650 parallel. Very, very distinctive twin little pipes at the front. And of course the side exhaust, which isn't really a side exhaust. Because when you look underneath, it just looks like a car silencer. Big, heavy, a bit poo. But your alternatives, to me, aren't much better. <sighs> They've got that twin pop, not a Ducati, it's not a nice inline four sound, it's that small, and I hate to say this because I've got my noisy trucks and cars, and my motorbikes like the Triumph out there. It's got a more, oh, just that one, two, five annoying blah, 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 blah noise, you know? Unless you get a really expensive exhaust that's quiet and then get a bit of rasp noise out of it. If you get your cheaper exhausts that are easy to get hold of for these. Remember, if you are going to change exhaust, I don't think it's worth it. 4,000 revs, you get a little raspy noise out of this. It will pull, won't light your world on fire, but it will pull a bit more than the one, two, five you probably just got off. Nice light bike, but if you're going to change the exhaust, there is the O2 sensor you have to worry about. Don't get one of those eliminators, they don't always turn the FI light off. Try and get one that you can just put the O2 sensor back in with a pipe. If you're gonna do it, me personally, it's just not worth it. So nice light bike, it is coming at 180 odd kilos anyway. A lot lighter than the Versus, and a lot lighter than the ER6F. So they've done a little bit of alterations to shave off maximum weight to make this bike, for me, as light as anything. It really is a light bike that you can chuck around it's not going to kill you moving it around and pushing it, etc. I find this bike very, very light. But I do play with big bikes. If you're just getting on it, I can't stress more, just get used to the weight. Don't be dropping it because there's no real panels, so you're just going to crack the sides. You don't want to start sticking crash bars everywhere. If you do end up dropping it, remember the GS BMW 1200 way of picking a bike up. Okay, don't try and do it in the middle. Come to the front of the bike, turn the handlebars, get hold of the bars here, and you're able to pick the bike up, okay? Any other way, you're going to pick it up and it can fall the other way. When you've got hold of the bars, you're all right. All right? That's how I tell you to do that with a GS, and it really works. And if you've ever had to pick a GS up like I have, video on my channel, I'm not going to put it in the description. I was down here on my seafront and I left the uh, stupid disc lock on. Happens to the best of us. Um, <laughs> still embarrassed about that. Wife was on the back. Whole seafront full of people. Splat. No. But I did the right thing. Rolled up, got up, pulled it, lifted it up. Embarrassed to hell. Don't drop your bike. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> this light little bike though, you really shouldn't be doing that. It feels very, very light. It feels sporty-ish. The handlebars were very small to me. That's what it felt like a one, two, five. 
very thin little tank. You're not going to be doing two up on this. I strongly suggest you not. I'm 14 and a half stone, but yeah, don't do two up. If you want a bike that does good miles to the gallon, 50 to the gallon, cheap to insure, cheap to service, pair of plugs, an air filter, oil filter, and even a sump ring as well. You're probably looking at under 50 pounds and get a quality oil in here. You can do it yourself. You're going to save lots of money with this little bike. Chain sprockets, etc. You know, tyres 120 front, 160 back. I've been told the suspension feels quite exciting. I'm not going to say that because some people just give different reviews sometimes. It has got your Kawasaki annoying alarm on it. Um, that you can also have it going off all the time. I don't like that. I will start it in a second for you. Mirrors are good, nice easy seat position. If you're doing a 10 mile journey and you want to filter through very busy traffic, I don't think you can go far wrong with this. If you want to go 80 mile journey, I don't think you can enjoy it as much. It will do it, I won't say it won't do it, but you wouldn't enjoy it as much. Back roads, I'm sure that it handles quite well, but if you've got any mates that are on, you know, 600, 750, 800,000 cc bikes, you will be trailing around or you'll be really in the high revs, which then it's not so economical to do. Anyway, no centre stand, only side stands on these. Very slim looking at the front. This is why when I first looked, I thought it was honestly a 125. However, it's not a bad looking bike. A little Z on there for you. I said the parallel 650 engine there. They've upgraded the suspension, they've said, front and rear. And I don't know what they've done to the engine, but they said they have done something to it. It looks quite nice. I mean, all bikes are getting smaller, but you can see this is realistically just a very, very slim, small, compact bike. This is an early 2018 model. It's got a little tail tidy. Has got the old rear hugger on there, which is quite nice. Stops all the water spraying up everywhere. Nice and easy discs to change and brakes. Gone over exhaust. It's always nice having a view screen. Then you haven't got to keep dipping it in and out, check your wheel. Let's turn on the dash. Remember these are injection. When you turn this on, you should get the nice little noise. Dash isn't too bad. They've upgraded it since the older one. Twin little side lights at the front. LED rear. videos out of these round bendy roads and hammering along if you want to watch them by all means you're not going to have a test ride of this today just not my cup of tea if I'm honest with you you notice the needle there was all LED as well clocks are quite cute it's got heated grips on this one as well as I said not my cup of tea but if you're after a small bike commuting cheap then this is your baby Thank you so much for watching, a very short review. It has got its good points. Please don't think I'm just trying to slate this little bike, I'm not. But as I said, it doesn't light my world on fire. But as I said, if you want a little bike that will get you back and forth to work, commuting, but you've got no luggage, you have to have a backpack. It's not something you put panniers on the back of. But it's a fun little bike just to hammer around, you know, maybe go to the 30 mile little beach one. Um, economy, is brilliant on this as I said cheap to run cheap to insure cheap 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 then this is what you get I'd rather this than an SV sorry I would rather this than an SV because I don't like the Suzuki SVs um, but yeah that's my review you take care of yourselves on the road please like share and subscribe 500 odd other videos on my channel and let's see what I get in my name's got KTM 690 had until it got stolen by a couple of shit bags that's been a real mess with Bennett's Bennett's, you know, they've been around, I'm 51 now, <laughs> and Bennett's been around since the dawn of time with me, I was 16 when I first heard of Bennett's, and he got it stolen, and they found it um, further down the road, the insurance company took it, they said, oh, we're going to do this work to it and everything else, and two months later, he's still been messed around, Bennett's, what's wrong with you? You used to be there for the biker, same as the MCE, they've changed Serbia now, so there you go, got me started on something else, look, in description, I put a couple of verses in there. I've got loads of verses on there, Mark 1 and Mark 2, and even an ER6F. I was quite impressed with it, but again, not the engine. But 
It looks good. You're still going to back around in it. This looks tiny, but you're still going to get a bit of fun out of it. It is going to be more power than the 125. That's what you're after. This is the bike for you. Take care of yourself on the road. Bye-bye.